back out here, I can feel my blood starting to rise. It's like the Super Bowl, 20 years in the making. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It is a miracle that I'm sitting here today. I met my wife on Survivor. We have four daughters. It'd be really messed up if they have to see Daddy vote Mama off. Survivor! Winners at war. So this is the 40th season of Survivor. And crazy. Crazy that we had 40 seasons of Survivor. A show that I've watched, the first season of the show I ever watched was Survivor Africa. So it was cool to see Eden Song, who was the winner of Survivor Africa, who had gone through a great ordeal, was able to play this season. So this season of Survivor, we bring the tw we, it's a winter season. People have been begging for a winter season for years. I've been begging for a winter season all year for years. Seeing players like Boston Rob, Tony, Sandra, Parvati come back was a dream come true. Was this season the greatest season ever made? Jeff Probst, my think it is. I don't think it's better than Heroes vs. Villains. The, the, the season they was for like the 10 year anniversary of Survivor. I don't think this is better than Heroes vs. Villains. I don't think this is better than like Survivor Kageon. I don't, I, I am questioning if it's better than All Stars. So, I do, I don't believe it's the best season of all time. And I, I'm glad Tony won. At the end there, I thought Natalie was going to somehow pull Chris Underwood and win. But they actually gave it to Tony, so I'm happy about that. And like I said, there were some great moves this season with the, with Tony blindsiding Sophie to uh, seeing some of my other favorite players come back and play Yule. Seeing Sarah, I thought Sarah played a great game. I went, I hate the fire making challenge, but I have to say the fire making challenge was great this time around. That being said, it would have been such a better finale if it was Tony and if Tony and Sarah were facing off, cops are us facing it off. Uh, one cop against another in the finals. That would have been one of the greatest final twos, probably since Dominic and Wendell, since Jewel and Ozzy. But because I was like, there's no way Natalie can win. I mean, Chris won because the jury was stupid. <laughs> um, this not they're not stupid people. They've all won the game. I thought everyone played I thought everyone played a decent game. Uh, but like I said, this was a it was a very cool historical episode. Who knows if Survivor will be back in the fall, but uh, I didn't like there wasn't a reunion show. I think they should could have still done it with all the Skype stuff they were doing because the audio sounded fine, really. I mean, I would like to see them talk to each of the winners, uh, get a little more in-depth interview. But I guess that's what Rob uh, Rob has a podcast is for. I guess I'll be listening to that over the summer. So, guys, another season of Survivor wraps up, and yeah, great season of Survivor. So guys, have you seen Survivor Season 40, Winners at War? And who do you think was a winner that you think should have been in this season? I would have wished Richard Hatch could have came back. I don't think we'll ever see him play again. But we'll, maybe one day we will. So guys, and, uh, are you looking forward to the next season of Survivor? Whatever your thoughts are, comment below. Let me know. So guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.